With this one, we're working with more sequences. These are real life scenarios. You've got some debt that you're trying to pay off. Um, and you start with $30,000 and you pay off 8% of that amount per year. So the first year you have $30,000. The second year you have $30,000 minus 8% of what you had the first year. And then the third year you have 8% less than you had the second year. So the very first thing we need to do is determine whether this one's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. The way that we determine that is an arithmetic sequence where you're adding or subtracting a very, the very same amount every time. So in other words, if you're paying down $500 on this debt every single year, that would be an arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence, however, we're multiplying it by a common factor, a common ratio every single time. In this case, we are at 8% decrease over what we previously had. So this one is a geometric sequence. Well, that's helpful because now we can use our generic formula for a geometric sequence. And here is our formula for that. It's generic because we don't know what A of 1 is, R is. We have to fill in that information. Well, we know some of that information, so let's start filling in what we know. A of 1, we know, is 30,000. That's the first year we start off with 30,000. We also know R. R is the common ratio. This is a common amount that we're multiplying by every time. And it's 8% less every year. So if we had 100% the first time and it's 8% less, that would give us 92%. So R is 92% of the previous amount. So R in this case is going to be 0.92. So now let's fill that in. We've got 30,000 for our first term. R is 0.92. Now it asks us um, how much will we have at the start of year 9. So now what I can do is plug in 9 for both ends. I plug it in here, and I plug it in here. If you wanted to, you could just plug this right-hand side here into your calculator. That's fine. Um, that would work just perfect for you. Uh, if you want to do it by hand, that's fine too. 9 minus 1 is 8. I have to take 0.92 and raise that to the eighth power. Uh, notice how I'm not rounding here. I know it asked me to round it to the nearest dollar. I'm not doing that to the very, very, very end. That way it won't throw off any of my numbers. Now I just take 30,000 and I multiply it by 0 .15, uh, 0 0.5132189, and that gives me 15,397. And I recognize this is dollars. You can put dollars on there. That would be fine. If you're doing it on the online system, however, make sure that you do not include any labels. Uh, the computer has a hard time with labels.